Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. Bachelor Clayton Eckerd makes Us Weekly's best of 2023 in Bachelor Nation. We're going to share it all with you right now. Follow me on Instagram, at dneals, for stand-up show updates. I'm in Huntington Beach tomorrow night. Uh, if you want to come to a stand-up show in Orange County at the Rec Room, 7 p.m., and also patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll be live right after this. Every morning and afternoon, the free podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour. Here it is. The biggest Bachelor Nation moments of 2023. From a paternity scandal to the first Golden Bachelor. Okay, in the title of their best of 2023, they have no problem sharing the Clayton Eckerd paternity scandal, which of course they did not really cover. But hey, anything to sell an extra buck right now. Now, as you know, it's that time of the week which we have barrel scraping, uh, which is the art of getting uh, the most out of whatever is left in the barrel. And if, as you guys know, we've been scraping the barrel uh, since Jebediah the barrel scraper uh, uh, started scraping barrels in 1823. So this is actually a fact, no lie here. He actually had a crown. He was the king of barrel scraping, a power barrel scraper. And we're going to continue to do that all week long. All right. And by the way, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, there'll be more breaking news. So definitely stick around. But here, let's go right through it. Bachelor Nation might, be, might have had its most dramatic year yet in 2023. I kind of agree. It was a pretty dramatic year. The year came kicked off was Zach Shellcross's bachelor stint. The season was full of drama, thanks in part to his finale confrontation with Gabby over their fantasy suite date. It's honestly worse watching it back, Gabby said during the live finale, reliving their breakup and calling it violating that Zach had revealed to the entire nation that they had sex. Yeah, what that wasn't good. It wasn't good what happened there. And then, of course, Zach and Katie weren't the only Bachelor Nation success stories of the year. Charity became the Bachelorette in June, and when her season came to an end in August, she was engaged to Dotton. Olabeko. The couple stayed strong while Charity competed on Dancing with the Stars, and they're still together. So 2023 for Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Golden Bachelor was three for three. Bachelor in Paradise was 0 for the season. Come September, the first ever Golden Bachelor season premiered with Gary Turner at the helm. All right, so we got all of that. Here's the shakeups, podcast shakeups. The year kicked off with Natasha Parker announcing she would no longer be a part of Clickbait. Clickbait, what's that? Uh, the fr- or the franchise at all. Not long after that, Bachelor producer podcast stopped releasing episodes altogether. Warner Brothers ended the show and subsequently moved host Joe to Bachelor Happy Hour with wife Serena, meaning Becca Kufrin and Michelle Young were out of a gig. Oh, that's what you get for talking out about the show. You know, share your opinions. You got to go. We support Becca and Michelle. And uh, Becca's now husband, Thomas, later slammed the show online. But Joe told us in July that the couples are still on good terms. Gabby confronts Zach in March. So we got that Peter Weber and Kelly Flanagan split for good in May. Can you even believe that? You forgot that was part of the whole show. Uh, Brandon Jones and Serena Russell don't see eye to eye on their split. Brandon and Serena announced their painful breakup in May, splitting less than one year after he proposed during the Bachelor in Paradise season eight finale. We're deeply hurting and can only ask that there be no hate. The exes wrote in a joint statement. The best path for us at this time is to try and move forward and heal from this as individuals. In October, Serena addressed the rumors, the rumored infidelity surrounding their breakup, claimed that a video surfaced that confirmed Brandon had cheated on her prior to their split. Brandon, meanwhile, took a stand against the false narrative, but took ownership for his actions. Uh, the other big breakup, Jason Tartik and Caitlin Bristow called off their engagement in August. Again, just a wild story. Little do we know, it was just the tip of the iceberg for drama in 2023. And perhaps the most jaw-dropping Bachelor Nation breakup of the year uh, yeah, I mean, I would say it's the most jaw-dropping in the sense that they were the biggest Bachelor couple, but also the writing was on the wall. We knew it was happening for what seemed to be months because, you know, they were they were kind of testing the waters as uh, separated, maybe didn't want to announce it right away. I think people assume if people break up, something bad happened, and I think that's the hardest part of this whole breakup. Nothing bad happened, Caitlin shared during Off the Vine. We have both not made each other a priority, and this is what happens. The pair have no bad blood, and they reunite for the first time at Chris Harrison and Lauren Zima's wedding. All right, then we have Dotton and Charity got engaged. Not much to say there. Um, you know, happy for them, but um, no news is good news. And same thing for Gabby Wendy finding love with Robbie Hoffman. She comes out of the closet and uh, they are now dating and seem to be very happy relationship there. 
Uh, they were. She announced it on The View one year after she ended her engagement to winner Eric Schwer in November of 2022. Boy, the years just fly by, don't they? Josh Sider is alive after Death Hoax. Josh, who appeared on Caitlin Bristow's Bachelorette season, made headlines in August when a since-deleted Instagram statement falsely announced his death. The following day, Josh revealed that he was still alive and well in a separate Instagram video. My account was hacked in the last 24 hours, he said. Uh, Josh's ex, um, Monica Beverly Hills, alleged to Entertainment Weekly that there's no way in hell his account was hacked. Yeah, so he then went to a mental health facility. He kind of said he was joining the military, which I, I thought he would be too old to join the military, but what do I know? So maybe he's there, maybe he's not. All right, let's go. Let's, you know, so that those were all the wild stories until the really wild story. Clayton Ecker is not going to be a father September. So this all came out in September 19th, right? We're going to, let me just read what they say about it. And then I'm just going to interject with what the truth is. And this, again, I don't blame us weekly. They're not in the business of getting sued. They're going to play it as safe as possible. That's what corporations do. They're psychopathic. They don't care about you. They don't care about telling the truth or sharing an opinion when it comes to getting their ass sued. They just share it. They post the paternity scandal knowing it's going to get clicks. I know them. I know what they're doing. They, they, you know, they're going to get clicks on this and they're not going to really share much. Former bachelor Clayton made headlines in September after news broke that an unnamed woman filed court documents one month prior alleging that she was pregnant with his twins. In the docs filed on August 1st, a woman claimed she had engaged in sexual activity with Eckerd in May and hadn't uh, been with anyone since March of 2022. That really made you believe her, by the way, when, when she's like, well, geez, she says she hasn't been with anyone else. It must be his. In a response to the initial file, and Clayton claims that the case was groundless and lacking in merit. He also alleged in a statement to Us Weekly that he did not have sexual intercourse with the woman. He subsequently agreed to take a paternity test. Uh, again, uh, what they leave out there is that Clayton actually was shown in emails to have said he only had oral sex. So he hasn't changed his sort of statement towards it all. Uh, but with that, of course, they leave out the fact that she got a uh, temporary restraining... A a restraining order against him he got an order of protection uh, an, an injunction against harassment against her they're not allowed to talk he's filed papers to prove non-paternity and she has said publicly that she doesn't want to talk about it anymore Meanwhile, privately sending cease and desist to uh, different places and trying to get TikToks removed and I'm in of course she sued me I didn't make the article she, uh, come on, put me in the article. Shouldn't, guys, shouldn't we be, uh, hold on, I need to get my American mute. I need to get my, hold on, folks, this is a big deal here. Shouldn't we be in the article for best of 2023 in Bachelor Nation? We put our foot on the line for you. We're getting sued for harassment. We have a hit podcast called Bachelor Rush Hour. Okay, in an October <laughs> Instagram video, Clayton announced to Bachelor Nation that he is not the father of the twins. I got the good news today. The test results came back early and they said little to no fetal dna present let's go baby by the way somebody should turn this into like an auto-tune rap song i can't believe this hasn't happened yet um and anyway that's all they share so they just leave us hanging i guess so uh we wait till you know february 14th it's it's you know you know they they snuck this in but it, but it it's just telling that where it matters in the title of the article they list paternity scandal they list it so they knew it was important they just don't want to get sued they don't share any extra information is that really journalism folks Folks, of course not. That's not journalism. Uh, Danielle Maltby, and, and I don't blame the authors. I blame the company. Danielle, uh, Sarah, quit. You're better than that. Quit the show and go out on your own. Danielle Maltby and Michael A's breakup turns messy. Oh, it sure did. After weeks of speculation, Michael confirmed his and Danielle's unplanned breakup during an episode of Jason's Trading Secret podcast in September. This after he told She's All Batch that he was still with her, which again, they're not going to share here, but you know, um, I, I'm okay with him lying. Uh, well, let's not even call it lying. He didn't want to announce his breakup yet. You know, this is what happens. You go on podcasts, you might be broken up, you might not. I'm sure Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tartik did the same thing. We know, like, Nate and Michelle were on the outs when they were doing red carpet runs. Like, it's just what happens. We're not together, uh, together anymore, he said. We both threw a lot into this relationship, and it's really awful when it doesn't work out. Danielle spoke out about the split days later, revealing it was not a mutual decision in an Instagram story. Danielle further discussed the breakup on the Women 
WOMED podcast revealing that she was blindsided when Michael broke up with her the day after they froze her eggs. My, that, that just adds real insult to injury. I froze my eggs. I scraped cervix for you. Is that what happens? I don't know. People get very upset when I miss uh, diagnose uh, or medical, condi- you know, whatever it's called. here. Either way, I think I, I hear from those that have told me, I haven't had my own eggs frozen. I hear it's very painful and that would not be something that would be good to hear during your recovery of being your eggs frozen that you're being broken up with, especially after moving to Ohio. No offense to Ohio, but it's not like she moved to Hawaii for somebody. Oh, I moved to the beautiful coast of, no, no, no. Ohio, come on. What's next? You're going to go to Pittsburgh for love? No offense. We love you in Ohio and Pittsburgh. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, cue the people. You know, actually, Dayton's a very nice... Okay, can it, Ohio? Nobody cares. Michael, for his part... Subscribe. Michael, for his part, claimed they had a previously... Exp- uh, claimed that he had previously expressed that he did not want to have more kids. Michael shares his seven-year-old son, James, with his late wife, Laura. Gary says, I love you three times. This happened in November. Gary pulled the old... Clayton didn't understand. You can't say it. The first ever senior bachelor may have been older, but he wasn't much wiser. Okay, so we got that story. Braden Bowers debuts surprise Christina Mandrell relationship. We got that at the end of Paradise. That's fun. More on that. Can we get Christina Mandrell to do Driving with Dave when I move to Nashville? We'll have to see. All three Bachelor in Paradise season nine couples implode in December in a partridge in a pear tree. While while former leads find the one-off screen all year long and this is where they write the article where they get all of the search engine optimization they got becca married thomas claire crowley married ryan dawkins they're expecting their first child via surrogate andy dorfman married blaine hart in italy taisha who took over for claire on season 16 started dating summer house alum luke goldbrinson uh hannah brown's engaged a longtime love adam woolard season 21 bachelor nick vial is going to be a dad in the new we where they 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 spelt year wrong get an editor uh times are tough everyone's on break with fiance Natalie Joy giving birth to their daughter while season 16 bachelor Ben Flanick got married in November Colton Underwood no longer tracking uh his ex Cassie Randolph uh Colton Underwood and former host Chris Harrison rounded up the year of bachelor nation weddings when they exchanged vows with Jordan C. Brown and Lauren Zima respectfully respectively there it is folks we got through it Clayton Eckerd makes Us Weekly's best of list. It's garbage. But hey, that's what it is. They know what they are. They're garbage. It's, the, the, you know, the Us Weekly is the type of magazine you read when your flight's delayed and you're in one of those Hudson newsstand places at the airport. I don't think they sell one copy. You look at it as you go through the line and check out and try not to buy any Reese's Pieces. That's all they are. We share their articles online, uh, but um, it is, it's, it, it, Us Weekly is just a product of a time past in the 90s and 2000s when you know you'd buy like in style see which star wore it best no thanks folks we got dave neal now all right we'll be back with more (laughs) bachelor rush hour this afternoon and i'll be live on patreon right after this